Hello, welcome to Code Mailiness. In this short video, I'll be showing how to install the KD desktop on our Kali Linux. As you can see, this is the GNOME no desktop. It's quite easy, but the first thing we have to do is to make sure we back up our system. And in the case, I used Time Shift. Most of you must have um, heard about Time Shift. It's very, very important and it's a good tool to back up the system because anything could go wrong while trying to install the KDE desktop. In my case, I might or might not, or may or may not, whichever one <laughs> sounds better, may not like it after I have installed the KDE desktop. So, this I'll put in the description below, and I got this information from this git repo that belongs to Jalos Ferro. Hopefully, I pronounced that properly. I'm sorry if I didn't. But despite the fact I have this line of command to uninstall the KDE desktop just in case I don't like it, sometimes most of the directories don't really leave the system, so that's where the time shift comes in. So if you back up your system using time shift and you install the desktop and realize you don't like it or any time in the future you don't like it, you can always roll back. So let's get started. It's pretty much easy. Oh, what's happening here? So we have to wait for it to complete them. We'll see the end result, which is our KD desktop. I think my network is really slow. Okay, I will get back to you once this is completed. All right, um, this is the next screen after the 100% download. So what we have to do here is to hit a space bar and you select between JDM3 and SSDM. So JDM3 belongs to the GNOME desktop and SSDM belongs to the KDE desktop, which this is a login um, page if you're new to those greeters. So in my case, I'll choose the SSDM, but you might want to stick to JDM if you've not used KDE login, login page before, so I'll jump right to it. SSD in. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, I think we're almost done.
all right i think i'm gonna pause it and wait for it to complete stay tuned all right um our installation is complete so i will log into the kdm the KD, sorry, the KD desktop, and I'll show you the results. So, what I have to do now is to log out. Alright, guys, um, this is our KD, our KD desktop. So, I did a restart after the installation so you might want to do that because the moment I logged out it couldn't take me to the KD desktop which makes sense so once you reboot your system the KD desktop will be set up then um, if you don't like the SSDM login greeter you can as well change it to the GDM3 login greeter it's quite easy to do just few command lines in your time you know then you get that set up so I think I'm gonna stick to the KDE desktop and uh, thank you guys for watching if you like this video please put a thumbs up and uh, subscribe that will help the channel thanks